Alright, so the purpose of this video is to quickly demonstrate how you might go through the exercise of mapping your AutoCAD line weights, your current standards in AutoCAD to Revit categories and the line weights that are used for plotting there. The idea being that you want to plot essentially the same in AutoCAD that you do in uh, Revit. Now in this case the AutoCAD drawing uses line weights, not colors. If it's colors then you'll need of course get your CTV file in there and look at that but in this case it's a little bit more simple which is good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just double click in the model space here and select uh, this uh, diffuser and I'll do a list on it and it's on MHVAC SDFF so that is the layer that I need to be concerned about I'll then type in layer and then I will look for that particular layer so I think SDFF not familiar with the drawing too much but I see that the line weight is pointed, supposed to be 0.5 millimeters okay so now that I know that I will just go ahead and close the dialog because I know I need what the line weight I need. I go into Revit now and in Revit and let me just uh, launch my object styles here. So in for object styles I'll open this up and any diffusers returns they're all going to be by default on the air terminals category. Okay. So if you do need to break it down a little bit more more finely then you may need to introduce some additional subcategories for return for diffusion but in general all those items are going to be on the air terminals category and uh, in this case the projection line weight for those is four okay so how does that compare to what we have currently in AutoCAD well to understand uh, that I just need to go to the uh, settings here under manage manage and then additional settings line weights and we see that currently for line weights for a f 1 8 equals an inch should be right here for 4 it's 0.120 uh, inches let's uh, change that to millimeters real quick so I'll go to units project units and change length to millimeters hopefully that'll go ahead and adjust that as well go back to additional settings and then line weights okay and then I'll again click on 4 1 to 96 and point zero point three zero four eight so it's a little bit thinner than what I'd like to use for a typical one eighth inch or one to a one hundred depending on whether you're using metric or not so in that case I might choose the five line weight because it's a little bit closer okay or I might even adjust this I'll go ahead and say well you know what point the five line weight is point five millimeters I'll click OK here then back in object styles which of course gives the default for across the entire project I'll change the projection line weight here from 4 to 5 and once I do I'll hit apply and the idea is then that those error terminals when they're plotted by default will go ahead and plot at uh, a 5 projection line weight which will basically match my CAD standards and the, the idea is here for every object whether it's architectural objects, mechanical objects, that you'll basically go through your categories, it's going to take a little time obviously, and then match this for projection and cut line weights. The difference between the two is, if you're not familiar with Revit, is projection is when you're looking at that object in plan, in elevation, cut is when you're actually cutting through the object in a section or in a plan view where the object is actually penetrating uh, the cut plane of that plan view. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any follow-up questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks.